Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, we're going to examine bulleted and numbered lists within Harlow 3.3. Sometimes when we're creating a story or working within Harlow, we want to create a bulleted list or a numbered list so we can change how text is displayed to our readers or players, depending on what work we're creating. To do this, we need to use special characters. As we've seen across a number of videos, we combine special characters, special symbols that we use within Harlow to change the presentation of text or otherwise affect how it is displayed. So when we want to create a bulleted list, we use a single asterisk, this symbol right here, a space, and then what we want to be as part of a bulleted list. So if I go ahead and start the story from this position, from build play, we will notice we now have a bulleted list with two line items. So item one and item two. Notice in each case, we had an asterisk right here, followed by a space and then the item. So what if we want to create multiple levels of bulleted items? Well, to do this, we increase the number of asterisks. So a single one is first level, two is second, three is third, and etc. And then when we want to reset, we go back to that. So if I move, the start of the story over to this passage, and then we go ahead and play from here, we will notice that we have right here, first, second, third, fourth, and again, back to first. So creating bulleted items is not very hard, as long as we remember asterisks are involved, and then there is a space after the asterisks, and then the thing we want to create the bulleted items for. So for numbered list, it's actually just as easy, although the symbols involved are slightly different. So if we want to create a numbered list, we are using zero and then the period and then a space and then what we want to be numbered. So let's go ahead and change the start of the story over here to numbered and then I will go to build and play so we can see this. And notice the numbers are supplied for us, first, second, and third. And we could have however many as we want. But for each one, when we're creating it within Harlow, within the Harlow programming language, we're using zero, period, and then a space. And as we previously saw for the multi-level bulleted list, creating multi-level numbered lists is just as easy, as long as we remember the rules we've already seen. So for numbered list, it was zero in a period. So if we want additional levels, it's just an additional zero and a period and then a space. So first, second, third, fourth, and then bend back to first. So changing the start over here to this passage, build and play, we will finally see that as well. Notice first, 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 and first, because each one is now a sub-level of the last within a new set. And when I created them using a zero and a period, zero and a period, and then however combinations of those, pairings of those, I wanted to create to create sub-entries, and then again, resetting back to two. So one and then two, and if there were more of the same level, those would also be matched. So we can create bulleted lists within Harlow using asterisks and then whatever we want. And then multiple asterisks and then whatever we want to create multiple levels. The same is also true of numbered list, zero and period to create a numbered list. And if we want a multiple level numbered list, we just add more zeros and periods. So as we've seen across many of these videos, we just need to understand the symbols and their combinations to create different text effects to change the presentation of our stories or games as we create within Harlow and within Twine. Thanks for watching.